hello everyone i am ashwarya from fitbuds marketing team thank you for joining us today uh, before we begin please allow me to give a brief introduction of fitbud for those who might be new here uh, fitbud helps you grow your fitness business with the power of your branded app we also give you a dedicated and customizable website on your own domain uh, beyond usual day to day operations our platform is the only tool you need to seamlessly run your fitness business and build a robust digital brand we also offer a 30 day free trial so you can schedule your free demo with our expert using the link we'll share in the chat moving on i'm excited to introduce amy our expert presenter for today amy is a highly experienced fitness trainer specializing in sustainable calorie deficits and advanced weight management strategies uh, this webinar will provide valuable insights for trainers looking to enhance their client programs with evidence based strategies so without further ado let's give a warm welcome to amy and dive into some fresh actionable tips over to you amy Hey everyone, I'm Amy Hollings, or you might also know me as Boss for Amy all over social media. Um and I'm excited to be sharing some of the strategies that have helped me grow my coaching business uh through the use of this fantastic calorie tracking app. So today we're going to deep dive into several key topics that will not only help you improve client outcomes, but also expand and scale your business. So the four main pillars we're going to cover if we can go on to the um next bit of the presentation is number 1 how to create and manage effective sustainable calorie deficits. Uh number 2 optimizing sorry understanding calorie deficits for sustainable results. Number 3 co teaching coaches to implement deficits. Four optimizing macronutrient ratios. Number five, using the app to adjust macronutrient ratios. Six, BMR and TDE, the personalization formula. What's going to set you out from other coaches? Seven, using BMR and TDE in the app. Eight, navigating metabolic adaptation. Nine, advanced tips for you guys. And ten, growing your coaching business with these strategies. So remember, today's focus isn't just about helping clients hit their fitness goals. I want you to understand how mastering these strategies can also be a powerful tool for your own business growth. So the more your clients succeed, the more they're going to refer others. and the more efficient you become in managing them and the more you can scale your services. So let's dive into the first topic, okay? Understanding calorie deficits for sustainable results. So creating a calorie deficit is the absolute cornerstone in fat loss. But it's not just about cutting calories as much as possible. A small manageable deficit is the key to sustainable weight loss and client adherence, okay? So I only do a small calorie deficit and I'm going to explain why a small calorie deficit works compared to an overly aggressive calorie deficit. So I personally recommend creating a deficit of around 200 to 300 calories per day. Why? Because aggressive deficits can lead to rapid weight loss, yes, but they also bring with them issues like muscle loss, extreme hunger, fatigue, and a much higher risk of rebound weight gain. So for most clients a 200 to 300 calorie deficit creates steady weight loss. And it's different from person to person. They may like might lose half a pound one week, a pound, 2 pound, 3 pound, 4 pound, 5 pound. It changes all the time. This may not sound like much, half a pound to 1 pound, but it's sustainable and it helps maintain muscle mass whilst keeping clients feeling energized and motivated. They're more likely to to completely jack it in or to go off track when they're not energized and they're not motivated okay so an example of setting a deficit we know that a deficit literally means burning more calories than what you're consuming calories in versus calories out so the app makes managing these deficits incredibly easy once you've cal calculated your client's tde you can automatically set their calorie deficit to reflect that 200 to 300 calorie target so what's more the app or the app adjusts the deficit as your client progresses and you can set this up automatically so for example if their weight drops by 5 to 10 pounds the app recalculates their new tde so they're always working with accurate numbers 
So this automation is key for maintaining long-term progress and ensuring your clients stay on track without having to manually, manually adjust things constantly. Now, from a business perspective, this precision builds client trust. Clients appreciate seeing their progress in real time and understanding why they're being asked to follow a specific calorie intake. You've got to explain that to them and you've got to explain the pros and the cons. So the more transparent and data driven you are, the more likely they are stick, they're going to stick with you and recommend your services to others. So when clients see steady, consistent progress, they'll stay loyal, which increases retention and referrals. So I'm just going to quickly share my screen to show you guys how I set it up on the app. Bear with me. Let me just screen share. All right. So where you can set the automation is under payment plans. OK, so I do online coaching and I have the all access where people use the app at their own leisure. I only have the automated automation on on the all access. So once you create your plan, you click on automation. Now you can automate your workouts as well, depending on what you've done under the questionnaire. But it's the nutrition bit. So you can automate it. So when somebody signs up to your app and they do all their onboarding, they do all of their profile, it can automatically create a profile for them. It works out their BMR and TDEE and it will work out their calorie deficit based on the deficit that you've worked out for them. OK. Bear with me. Let me just stop my screen. There we go. Could we go on to the next slide, please? Perfect. Thank you. Um, OK, so <clears throat> what we want to make sure is we're not causing burnout with people's calorie deficits. OK, and like I said, the app will change their calorie deficits over time. So you don't, if you end up with hundreds of thousands of clients, you don't want to keep going into the app and keep changing their calorie deficit. OK, that's going to be a real pain. The app actually does it for you. OK, so you set up your calorie deficit and then you can automate it so that the calories change over time, okay? Because people should never start at one calorie deficit and stay on that throughout their whole journey. Because as the as that picture shows, the less that you weigh, the less your BMR becomes, okay? So your BMR is your basal metabolic rate. It's the amount of um, calories that your body burns naturally without anybody moving at all. It's based on your age, weight, and height, okay? So we want to keep people motivated and actually part of keeping people motivated is them being able to see their calories drop. So once you start understanding and once you start teaching this to people, they're like, oh, I thought I had to stay on the same calorie deficit my whole journey. No wonder I'm not progressing. OK, so that's another uh, area that you can talk about, especially online, because not a lot of people know this. OK, and this will massively impact your business as well, because the more satisfied your clients are, the higher retention you're going to have. OK, uh, could we go on to the next slide, please? <clears throat> Perfect. OK, optimizing macronutrient ratios. So now that we've established the importance of a controlled calorie deficit, so let's move on to the macronutrients. Where do our calories come from? Generally, protein, fats and carbs. Balancing these correctly is what can make or break your client result. OK, so first off, we've got protein, the foundation of muscle retention. Protein is crucial when your clients are in a deficit, especially because we want to preserve as much muscle as possible. Muscle plays a key role in metabolism. So the more muscle your client retains, the higher their BMR, which helps prevent metabolic slowdown. OK, metabolic slowdown is a real thing. I know a lot of people don't believe in it. Right. A lot of people, uh, they call it the starvation mode. OK, I hate the word starvation mode, but metabolic slowdown is essentially what that is. So for most clients, I recommend a protein intake of around one to one point two grams of per, uh, per pound of lean body mass. This amount not only supports muscle retention, but it also helps clients feel fuller reduces the chances of overeating. So for example, if you have a 150 pound client with about 120 pounds of lean mass, you'd aim for around 120 to 150 grams of protein a day. 
Now, the thing you will most likely get and the thing I get on a daily basis is, Amy, why is my protein so high? Now, on a standard plan, their carbs are always higher than, than their protein, right? But they're always, why is my protein so high? And I go back to them and I say, well, your carbs are really high compared to your protein. But they'll never question that because most people live off carbs, okay? Potatoes are beautiful, crisps are beautiful, but most people are not getting in the amount of protein that they need. That's why they think their protein levels are high. They're not high, they're average. They just have been living on so much carbs, they didn't realize what type of foods they were eating, okay? So carbs and fats, fueling performance and balance. Could we go on to the next slide, please? <laughs> Perfect, thank you. Um, so carbohydrates and your client's primary energy source, especially for those engaging in strength training or endurance activities. The goal is to give clients enough carbs to fuel their workouts without overshooting their caloric needs. So for clients focusing on fat loss, I tend to slightly lower carb intake, but not to the point where it affects their performance. Fats, meanwhile, are essential for hormone function and overall health. I also make sure my client's fat intake doesn't drop below 20 to 25 percent of their total daily calories. However, there is an exception for this, and I will go over that in a minute. So a balance between carbs and fats adjusted for the client's goals and preferences is key for sustainability. So how the app helps with macros. So the app allows you to adjust macronutrient ratios based on each client's goal. So you can input, and just what this on the presentation shows, this is taken exactly from the app, and I'll show you, I'll share my screen in a minute. You can input specific targets for protein, carbs, and fats, and the app will track them for you, ensuring your clients hit their macros while staying within their calorie limit. So this level of precision is something clients value immensely as they can see exactly how their diet is broken down. It also allows you to monitor trends and make adjustments easily. So you'll see that I have different packages for different things, okay? It's not just a standard weight loss package. I also do weight gain and weight management, but I also do keto. I also do, do low carb and I also do body recomposition, okay? You might come across some clients that have insulin resistance. You might come across some clients who have severe carb intolerances. You might have clients who are epileptic and the ketosis diet was started for people with epilepsy, right? So you've got to have different options for different people because there isn't a standard option that fits all, okay? So from a business perspective, optimizing macros is a service that can set you apart from the competition, okay? Many coaches focus solely on, on calories and that's it. But by fine tuning the macros, you're giving clients a more sophisticated and tailored plan. So this kind of detail helps achieve better results and keeps them coming back for more. Again, it's driving that retention and it's driving the referrals. OK, so I'm just going to quickly show my share my screen to show you where you can do this on the app. Bear with me just a minute. OK, so what you want to do is you want to go on to settings. Then you want to go on to your onboarding questionnaire. So this is the questionnaire that your clients are going to see if you haven't done it already. This is what the questions that your clients are going to see when they start onboarding. OK, so they they pay for the package on the app and they're, they're given a bunch of questions that they need to answer in order for their profile to be automatically set up. OK, so again, with my two options, I have online coaching and people can use the app at their own leisure. It's only with using the app at their own leisure that when they complete these profiles, their app is automatically created. With my online coaching, that's different, okay? It informs me when they've onboarded, but their app isn't automatically created because there's a lot more personalization that goes into my coaching, okay? That's a different price point. Um, so if we go down, you can set it under BMR. This is where you can put your different packages, okay? So if we just click edit options, you can add as many as you want to. So you'll see I've got body recomposition, low carb weight maintenance, low carb weight loss, low carb weight gain, uh, keto weight maintenance, keto weight loss, keto weight gain, standard weight maintenance, standard weight loss, and standard weight gain. And you'll see I've got different percentages against the protein, fats, and carbs, okay? And you can see it better on here. So for example, if we're looking at keto, 
Let's have a look at keto weight loss. Protein is 25%, fats is 70 and carbs is 5%. On the standard weight loss, protein is 30%, fats is 30% and, and carbs is 40%. So my deficit, I only do a 10% deficit unless they're doing body recomposition, which is a 5% de deficit, okay? Or unless they're doing maintenance, obviously, which is a 0% deficit. So this is all on your onboarding, on your onboarding questionnaire. And again, this is where you can set your BMR, okay? You can do your different equations. Whatever equation you follow, I tend to follow the Harris Benedict because it's the most reliable, okay? So that's where you can set it up on your app and you can do all the onboarding and all of your questions there. Um, if we could go back on to, perfect, yes. All right, BMR and TDE, the personalization format formula. This is what I have based my business on, okay? I go live a few hours a day on TikTok Basically, calculating people's calories, the calorie deficits for free and teaching them BMR and TDE because you have no idea how much how many people have no idea what this is. OK, usually people know what TDE is, but don't know what BMR is or they know what BMR is and don't know what TDE is, usually one or the other. So let's talk about personalizing client plans using BMR, basal metabolic rate and TDEE, total daily energy expenditure. So this is where data really becomes your best friend allowing you to fine tune your coaching for each individual client, okay? So we're not like all any other app where we just give somebody 1200 calories or 1500 calories or 1300 or 1400. I don't know how people survive on those, okay? So understanding BMR and TDE. BMR represents the calories your body burns just to maintain basic functions like breathing and digesting. So this is the baseline number of calories a client would need if they did nothing but rest all day, okay? TDEE, on the other hand, includes the calories burnt from all daily activities, including exercise, work, and even digestion, okay? So for example, let's say a client has a BMR of, I don't know, 1,800 calories, and based on their activity level, their TDEE is 2,400 calories. So to create that 200 to 300 calorie deficit, we would set their daily intake to around 2,100 to 2,200 calories. But what happens is the client loses weight, their BMR decreases, and with it, their TDEE. That's why it's so important to regularly reassess these numbers, but thankfully, the app will do it automatically so you don't have to go back and change them. That's the best tool of this app, I've got to say. So how the app automates this? The app calculates and tracks BMR and TDEE for each client dependent on which formula you have used, okay? So whether it's Harris Benedict, Mifflin St. Jor, Catch McCardle, whatever it is, you get to set it up to your own personalization to what you want to teach, okay? So this is critical because it ensures that the calorie deficit remains appropriate over time. Clients don't have to worry about hitting a plateau because the app recalculates their TDE and adjusts their daily calorie goal to keep them progressing. You can manually intervene if you want to, if you needed to, but for the most part, the app takes care of these adjustments for you. Okay, can we go on to the next slide, please? So from a business standpoint, this level of personalization is absolutely invaluable, right? Most calorie tracking apps will give a general calorie deficit to people. Like I said, usually it's about 1,200 calories. I've done this for years and I've done this for people, hundreds of thousands of people. And the most um, the, the most popular number that people got given, even when they were using, you know, trying to Google TD calculator or they were using a different calorie tracking app, they usually got 1,200 calories, okay? They usually got 1,200 calories. There's probably some of you nodding, thinking, yep, yeah, yeah, but I've heard of 1,200 calories so often. Or it's usually a calorie deficit that ends in two noughts or a five and a zero, okay? So clients appreciate knowing that their plan is tailored to their specific body composition and needs. When they see consistent adjustments based on data, they'll feel so confident in your ability to help them achieve their goals. And when clients feel confident, they're gonna stay longer, they're gonna refer others, which helps grow your business, okay? 
So a lot of the time what I do is I actually ask people when I'm on TikTok live, when I'm when I'm talking to people and I say to them, OK, so you are in a massive deficit, right? You're on 1200 calories, you're on 1400 calories, whatever it is. Is that working for you? Just put yes or no in the comments and everybody will put no, 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 no. Now, some of these people are probably binging because their calories are so, so low, but not everybody is binging. OK, that's what happens with metabolic slowdown. This is what we don't want to happen. This is why we keep their deficit minimal. We keep their calories as high as possible and then we slowly teeter them down because it automatically does it in the app. So these people have been following 1200 calories, 1000 calories, 1400 calories, whatever it is to the T and they haven't been losing weight. And that's because metabolic slowdown can slow down their own metabolism. Their bodies can do that to conserve energy. Thus, sometimes taking them out of a calorie deficit. OK, if 1200 calories was the golden number, everybody would be hitting their goals left, right and center. But the reality is they're not. OK, uh, can we go on to the next slide, please? All right. Navigating metabolic adaption. Finally, let's talk about uh, metabolic adaption, a topic that often gets overlooked, but it's essential for long term success. So what is metabolic adaption? You might have heard of it as starvation mode. OK, and a lot of people don't believe in starvation mode. And I get especially on TikTok, I get people coming back and arguing with me. Oh, you know, that, that doesn't exist. What about famine? That's completely different end of the spectrum. OK, we're not talking about that. We're talking about metabolic adaption, metabolic slowdown. So this ha occurs when the body slows down its metabolism in response to prolonged calorie restriction. OK, again, this is why we keep the calories high as possible. This is the body's defense me mechanism because the, the whole point of your body, your body's number one job is to keep you alive. And it does that through calories. That's where it gets its energy from. OK, so trying to conserve energy when it thinks it's being starved. OK, that's where the whole starvation mode has, has come from. I don't like the term, but that's what people are talking about. If you don't account for this, clients can hit frustrating plateaus where they're eating less, but not losing any more weight. A lot of the time when people have been low calorie for so long, then go on to something called a reverse diet. That literally means when they're increasing their calories to what it's meant to, right? Because they've been low calorie for so long. So how to prevent metabolic adaption? One strategy I use is incorporating diet breaks. Periods where clients eat at maintenance calories for one to two weeks before going back into a deficit. Now, usually when clients go on holidays, right? And a lot of the people I work with, they're on holiday left, right and center. That's when I say you can either track at maintenance or just prioritize your protein. Right. And that's their diet break. OK. And usually they come back and they've lost weight, <laughs> which is crazy. Right. You usually go on holiday and you end up to you end up um, thinking that you're going to gain a massive amount of weight. But because the calorie counting and because they've been prioritizing protein, they don't see their holidays as a free for all where they think, oh, my God, I've got to eat and drink as much as possible, because when I go back on my diet, I'm not allowed to eat anything. OK, that isn't what happens here. That's why it's so different. So this can reset their metabolism and give clients a mental break from constant dieting. Another option is refeeding days where you increase carbohydrates for one to two days during the week to boost leptin levels, a hormone that helps regulate metabolism. OK, but obviously you can only do this with certain clients, especially if people have carb intolerances. So you can use the app to manage adaption. Can we go on to the next slide, please? So the app can automatically adjust your client's calorie intakes when it detects a plateau. It tracks their progress over time and can either suggest a diet break or increase their calories temporarily to prevent metabolic slowdown. So this not only helps prevent client frustration, but also ensures steady, sustainable progress. Sorry, the dogs next door are barking. They're not mine. <laughs> so by offering this level of care from a business perspective, you're showing clients that you understand the science behind fat loss and can help them overcome the inevitable plateaus. This builds trust and ensures they feel supported throughout their whole journey. 
And remember, a client who breaks through a plateau is much more likely to stay with you long term and refer friends and family. OK, the more that you talk about fat loss, the more that you're giving out so much value and you're talking about calorie deficits and you're talking about why people don't lose weight and you're talking about you're actually starting to educate people when they see that you are the type of person who gives out so much value, who has so much education, who knows a lot of stuff that they don't know, they're going to come to you because they think that you're the person that's going to help them because you know a lot more than what they know. OK, so it's all about educating. It's all it's all about giving as much value as you possibly can. OK, so how do all these uh translate into business growth. Can we go on to the next slide, please? Um, so client success is business success. Your business is only going to grow if you are getting success for your clients, okay? And the more success that your clients get, the more they're gonna refer to people. So when your clients succeed, your business grows. Clients will talk about the results they're getting. Now, if they start talking about their results over social media, that is like the best thing that could possibly happen to your business, especially if a video goes viral. OK, TikTok's a great way for it to be <laughs> a great way for that to happen. When somebody starts talking about your business on social media, it's brilliant. Then you'll start seeing loads of referrals come through on the app and you'll think, oh, my God, what's going on? So they're going to talk about the personalized attention that they receive if you're giving it to them okay it's up to you and that leads to word of mouth referrals okay because you're only one person you can only talk to a certain amount of people every single day but those people you're talking to if you make the, a big impact on them they're going to talk about you to other people okay it's like the snowball effect and then again you're going to get loads of notifications coming through on your phone saying such and such has just signed up, such and such has just signed up. And you will probably been in the gym for a couple of hours and you come back and you've got a load of notifications. OK, it's the best feeling ever. So retention is the key to growth. Retention is absolutely crucial. The more you can keep clients engaged and progressing, the less time you'll need to spend finding new clients. Plus, a client who sticks with you long term will bring you even more value than constantly cycling through new clients, okay? But this is where you can have the two different options like I do. So I have my online one-to-one -one, um, coaching, and then I have the uh, people who use the app at their own leisure, like their own calorie tracking app, where I literally don't have to do anything. It's all automated, okay? So efficiency and scale. Using the app to automate much of the data tracking and adjustment processes allows you to work more efficiently. This means you can manage more clients without sacrificing the quality of your service. As your business scales, this kind of efficiency becomes critical. Okay. So in a crowded market, using technology to offer precise, personalized and dynamic coaching sets you apart. Clients are looking for coaches who use the latest tools and offer more than just basic advice. So by positioning yourself as a tech savvy, data driven coach, you're not only helping your clients succeed, you're ensuring your business stays ahead of the competition. OK, who's going to pick you out of somebody else who use the exact, uses the exact same app as you? OK, you've got two people using the same same app. Why is somebody going to choose one person over another person? You've got to think about that. You've got to set yourself apart. OK, as I said, I go on to TikTok live. I do it about three hours a day between nine and 12 in the morning. And it's just value, value. I'm calculating people's calorie deficits. It's value, value. It's all free stuff. OK, I've also set up on the app. Anybody who downloads my app will get an email every single day because you can set up MailChimp onto your app, okay? I'm going to quickly share my screen so I can show you how to do that. Okay, let me just share it. Share screen. Okay. So if you go on to... Bear with me. Okay, we're on settings, aren't we? So on settings, you can click on connect MailChimp. OK, so anybody who downloads your app 
Okay. So to download, to download my app is free. Even if they don't pay for a package, they're getting going to get an email every single day from me, which educates them on fat loss, weight loss, weight loss medication, weight loss pills, what calorie deficit is, why Slim and World doesn't work, why Slim and World does work. It's going to educate them on everything. And the more people that look at these emails, the more likely they're going to sign up. Okay. Psychologically, it takes about 20 times for somebody to see something before they sign up. Okay. But you can also offer free things like the emails, which is what I do. You can also offer free, other th free things that people can use because the more value, again, it's all about value. The more free value that you can give to people, the more they're going to come to you, okay, because they haven't paid a penny. And the more that you do that, the more likely they are to sign up, right? So, for example, if we go on to uh, explore, um, it's not going to let me do it on my phone, is it? <laughs> Always lets me do it on my laptop, never on my phone. Bear with me. I just want to make sure. I want to see if it will do it. It probably won't. No, it probably won't. But what you can do under explore, there should be another drop down, but for some reason it doesn't do it on my phone, which is a real pain, but never mind. What you can do on explore is you can upload guides, you can upload workouts, and you can set those as free for people without them having to pay anything. Again, it's more free value, right? So I haven't actually set up, there you go. You can see my toned up at the gym. You can see toned up at home, okay? So these workout programs are things that I've created, okay? It's all videos of me showing people uh, the exercises. And as you can see next to it, it says free. So if I click this little pen, you can click on enable this collection is free. And it says free collections are shown to lead clients in the app for them to try out your content and may help them in becoming paid clients. OK, so it's being able to get them from paid from sorry, from a somebody who's just downloaded the app, who's getting the free workouts, who's getting the free guides, who's getting the free emails every single day and eventually if you come at them from all different angles, right, you, they're getting a program, they're getting a recipe, they're going into their emails and suddenly there's an email from you educating them on something and they're reading it. And at the bottom, there's a link where they can sign up to the app. The more that they see, see that and they do say it takes about 20 times for somebody to see something before they buy something, right, the more likely they're going to sign up. But you've got to keep at it. You can't create something and then sit there and wait for people to uh, come and join. It's kind of like sitting in the shop window, making it all pretty, having all the gear inside, everything you could possibly need, but nobody looking through the window. OK, you've got to make it so that people are constantly looking through the window. You've got to put yourself out there. And sometimes it's scary. Yes, absolutely. But it does pay off in the end. OK, so the more leads that you can get, right, the better it is. I have about three, four thousand something leads. OK, there's about over four thousand emails going out every single day. It costs me. It doesn't cost the people who are reading the emails, but it's free value. And I know that a lot of them are going to end up signing up because they're going to see me as an important part of their journey. Right. I hope that makes sense. So what you can also do, if I can just quickly show you on my app. So what I've done under guides. So those are the workouts that people can follow for free. Obviously, people on the app can use these as well. I've also got ebooks and guides. This is also free for people. So anybody who downloads the app and actually hasn't paid yet, they can see how it all works. So I've got how to navigate the app videos right how to track calories how to follow workouts these are all screen recordings how to track progress and the rest of the app there is also so what sets this apart from other calorie tracking apps is you can up, literally upload anything you want you can upload pdfs you can upload links so i have a load of high protein recipes that people can click on again this can be free for people and it is uh, for the people who download my app. They, they can access all of these. 
There are guides. So PCOS, small changes equals big results. Cravings control, the sleep solution, recovery roadmap, think like a winner, simple guide to nutrition. Again, this is free value that people need to see. Cheat sheets, the alcohol cheat sheet, the macro cheat sheet. Um, and then workout programs that they can follow, which are linked up to the workouts that I've put on the app as well. Um, so again, the more value that you can give, the better it is. Okay, You are worth the value that you give out. Right. Um, I didn't make it last 50 minutes, but we're, also, we're always we're, we're almost there. OK, so this wraps up my key strategies for master, mastering calorie deficits, macronutrient optimization, le leveraging BMR and TDE, navigating metabolic adaption. So these principles have not only helped my clients succeed, but have also fueled the growth of my coaching business. OK, coaching businesses don't just go bang overnight. OK, you have to put the work in. You have to show up on social media every single day. OK, it's all about the consistency. They always say consistency is key. And I promise you, it really is. So I hope you found these insights valuable. Um, I think we're going to do in a minute question time. Yes. Before we jump into the questions, let me quickly introduce Fitbud to those who joined late and don't have, have access to the platform yet. Uh, in summary, Fitbud helps you grow your fitness business with the power of your branded app. Our platform is the only tool you need to need to seamlessly run your fitness business and build a robust digital brand. Uh, for those interested in experiencing Fitbud firsthand, we offer a 30-day free trial. Um, to explore more, uh, you can schedule a demo with our team using the link that we'll share in the chat. And now over to you, Amy, for the Q&A session. If anybody Perfect. has any questions, you can just drop it in the chat and Amy will answer them. I think we've got um I've yeah. got a few questions on here anyway, haven't we? Okay. So JC Osorio, are these plans and packages in the app or do so you have to build them? OK, there are some uh, standard night like, nutritional packages on there, but everything that I've done is literally everything I've done. I've set it up completely from scratch. OK, so that's which is really good for you guys because you can personalize it however you want to. OK, uh, how many emails do you provide to client leads? 30 as in how many do they get? They get one email every single day. Um, and currently I have, I can't remember how many, three thousand, uh, over 4,000 leads. So there's over 4,000 emails going out every single day. Um, do you write, FNLN, do you write your emails? So I don't write these emails myself. I utilize AI, ChatGP. Anybody who does not use ChatGP, use it. Oh my God, it's the best thing ever. All you literally need to do in ChatGP is tell it what you exactly what you want to talk about in an email and it will write it in, and it will literally give you a uh, script to put into your email. So even though you're not writing it specifically, you're telling ChatGP what you want this email to talk about specifically. OK, it will save you a whole lot of time and then you can automate a MailChimp so that so I do my emails for the month. So, for example, what day, what month are we in tomorrow? October. So today I'm going to do the majority of emails for October and set up, automate it for certain days and certain times. OK. Um, how to build the guide sections? Is that an upgrade? Good question. <laughs> how to build the guide section? Is that an is that an upgrade? Uh, what I would do is message, go onto your support chat on your dashboard um, and ask Fitbud. In all honesty, I can't remember whether I, that was in the upgrade or not, if I'm being completely honest. How much of a time scale did this honestly set to take up? So when I first launched, uh, well, when I started doing Fitbud, it was a couple of months to get everything together. And then I first launched on the 13th of March this year. So Apple was first and then Android came out uh, a bit later on. But one, one and a half, one to two months. Already a Fitbook client, can you please share your questionnaire that will help help clients to get as close as possible 
to their true TDEE. Yeah, sure. Okay, so what you need to do, so on the questionnaire bit, let me share to you. So it's up to you guys what kind of calorie deficit you're going to be using. So like I said, I do a 200 to 300 calorie deficit. I use the Harris-Benedict equation. So you've got to decide which equation you're using and then you set it up. Let me just go back. You set it up and uh, so you click settings on your dashboard, click on onboarding questionnaire, click edit questions. OK, so again, this is all personalized. So mine's the BMR goal. And this. So what is your goal and style of eating? So this is what's, um, and sorry, then you've got your BMR underneath. So see where it says BMR times 1.2, BMR times 1.3. You set up your equation, right? You set up how you want it done. Like I said, I do Harris Benedict. It's the most researched. It's the most wardroom renowned and it's most the most reliable. And then under your BMR goal, you set how much of a surplus or a deficit um, that you want to do. So for example, the majority of my people are on standard weight loss. They're in a deficit of 10%. So the app will work out the BMR and TDEE based on the formula you want to set it up to. And then it does a deficit of 10%, depending on what, what package they choose. Okay. So that's all under your uh, onboarding questionnaire. Okay. Uh, next question. Where's my chat gone? There it is. Okay. Um, how much do you sell your packages for? What's a good price range? Okay, so I have I have two packages, right? Oh, my Alexa thinks I'm talking to her. I have two packages. So I have, let me just have a look at my packages. So I have, like I said, my online coaching clients and I have the all access with, a with Amy. The all access is the completely automated one, okay? So they sign up to my app they download my app they do all their onboarding i don't have to do anything once they've done their all onboarding that's it they're ready to go they're ready to watch the videos and do it. i don't have to do anything at all nothing at all it's brilliant okay that's where that's where most of my clients come from that's what most of my clients get so for my all access with amy i have different options okay so i have a monthly subscription of 11.99 um, that's what majority of people do. And then I have a three month, six month, nine month and 12 month one time payment option, which offers bigger discounts. So, for example, I have three months for £33 instead of £35.97, six months for £60 instead of £71.94, nine months for £81 instead of £108 or a yearly subscription of uh, £96 instead of £143.88. OK, again, this is all under on your dashboard under payment plans. You can set it up however you want to. And then I have my one-to-one -one coaching, which is a hundred pounds a month, okay? This is where they do their onboarding and it's not automated, okay? So it's, it's uh, a lot more personalized. I do their personalized workouts, I do personalized everything. So I have to see their questions first and see what they're after. Uh, before their profile is set up, okay? I want to talk to them first. So again, monthly subscription of £100. They can cancel whenever they want to. Or there's a one-time payment of three months for £275 instead of £300. One-time payment of six, uh, for six months, £550 instead of £600. Nine months for £800 instead of £900. And a year for £1,000 instead of £1,200, Okay. Um, Monika Lukova, how to set an ebook. So what I've done for my ebooks, you can utilize white label. Okay. Just like we're using a white label app, we can use, utilize white label ebooks. Now, if you type it in on Google, a load of them will come through. You can buy white label ebooks and change whatever you want to on those ebooks through Canva, put your own logo on it, put your own stamp on it. Um, just like Roger Palmer, Canva for ebooks. And then you can upload those as a PDF onto guides on your dashboard. And then that's another service. Again, another service that you're offering your clients that's going to make you stand out. Okay. 
Um, how much of your time do you spend advertising yourself using social media? So I go live on TikTok. Anybody who hasn't gone live on TikTok or hasn't gone live on Facebook or Instagram, whatever your jam is, mine's TikTok, you're missing out on a huge amount of people to talk to. Okay, TikTok's amazing. So I go live between 9 and 12, Monday to Friday. Sometimes I do, I I try and take a day off. Now it's really hard to do with my ADHD brain, but I, I do try and do it. Um, I did go live yesterday, actually. I had a power outage this morning, so I couldn't go, <laughs> I couldn't go live this morning. But generally, three hours a day, I'll go live. And I talk about calorie deficits, and I do Q&As as well. So I generally get between 50 and 100 people watching those TikToks. And we get a load of signups. That's where the majority of my signups come from, is through the TikTok lives. Okay? We've had as much as maybe 60 signups throughout those those three hours okay tiktok's amazing for that the more value you can give the more you're going to stand out again the better for you do you change the workouts every few months or keep them the same so with people who are just using the all access using the app at their own leisure i the workouts are all the same okay but i'm going to be uploading some new ones that are different when it comes to my coaching it depends again it depends on the person so every few months i might or every few weeks i might change it up a little bit but i i ask them how they're feeling how they're feeling about the workouts are they bored of them do they want to try something different how do they because remember they're paying you to for a service that and for something they want to achieve so you've got to make sure they're happy with it Generally, I do keep them the same, but I might tweak them every now and then, okay? What's your audience if I have to start to if I have to start TikTok now? I've always been on Insta and Facebook. Want to explore TikTok. What are the strategies you recommend for TikTok? So strategies I recommend for TikTok, pick something you are really passionate about and that you have a lot of knowledge about. Something that you can chat and chat and chat and chat and chat away with, even if you've got one person watching. Okay, I will just keep chatting away more people. The beauty with TikTok is it will put it on for you pages. The more people that like that, that TikTok live, keep asking them. You've always got to tell them what to do on TikTok lives as well. Okay, so when I'm at, for example, I'll show you how we do it. So when I'm on on a TikTok live, there's a load of things that I, I say continuously over and over and over and over again. Okay, on um, and this is for three hours. Right. So I'll always say to them. Keep tapping my shiny forehead, guys. Let's try to get this number up to 1K or whatever it's on, okay? Usually we're at 20,000 likes. So that's on TikTok. When you tap the screen, it does hearts. The more taps that you get, the more it ends up on people's For You pages, okay? You ever been on your For your You page and you've got random lives coming up? The more taps that you get, get them to tap, the more you're going to come up on people's For You pages, and you want to be intriguing to people that they start to listen, okay? Another thing that I do on TikTok, because not everybody wants to put their age, weight, height, and activity level. Some people are afraid to do that or they're embarrassed. So what I say is anybody who doesn't want to put their information on here, go to the link in the bio, go to my Instagram or Facebook, follow me, then message me your age, weight, height, and activity levels, and I'll put it in a message on there. So then I end up getting maybe 50 messages after that TikTok or through Instagram, Facebook, um, TikTok. And some people message me through the app because obviously you can do that for free without them paying anything as well. And I get through 50 messages at least every single day. And again, I've got a script set up that I copy and paste and I just give them their TDR, TDEE and BMR and calorie deficit. But then within that script, I also have the links to my coaching and the all access. OK, so, yeah, sure. They're getting my information for free, but they're also getting links to my app again. So I've been talking about my app for three hours. Now I'm copying and pasting the script, changing their calorie deficit to personalize them. And again, I'm giving them another option to download the app. OK, it's free value. I'm giving you this. And it, it, even if they don't sign up, they've always got that message then as well. And it's also I've taken them from TikTok to another platform because god forbid if tiktok was ever taken away right you want to build your followers up on facebook and instagram or every other platform you're on too 
just in case, I don't know, your platform got taken down or you got scrutinized for something, so they banned you. You want to make sure your followers see you on different platforms. And the more that you do that, the more they're going to see you. Because you're going to end, they're going to end up seeing you on your, their TikTok. You're going to come up on their Instagram stories. They're probably going to get sick of your face or they're going to probably become obsessed with you. Usually the latter. And then they usually want to follow you on every single platform as well. Okay. How can I find you on TikTok? Um, my name is Boss Fit Amy. B-O-S-S-F-I-T-A-M-Y. That's the same name on my Instagram and TikTok. Um. Any strategy recommendations for coaches within their one to two years? If that's another one, can you do some coaching on going live, please, or have any advice? I don't have the confidence for it. Okay, so this is the same thing that I do with my clients who don't have confidence for the gym. You've got to feel the fear and do it anyway. Okay? And this is the same thing that I say with people who aren't motivated. Motivation is a feeling confidence is a feeling you won't always feel it and you can't rely on it and this is what I do this is what I say to my clients right and I scream it I scream it on my TikTok lives and they all laugh okay but it makes an impact because I'm loud and I'm you know whatever so I say to them right do you wake up every single morning and say to yourself oh my god I'm so excited to brush my teeth this morning I'm really gonna scrub them hard it's the best part of my day no of course you don't. It doesn't matter whether you're heartbroken, whether you're hungover, whether you're sad, whether you're happy. You're going to brush, or at least you're going to, I hope you're going to brush your teeth every single morning, regardless of how you feel. This is what you've got to do with business. No matter how you feel, you've got to show up. Okay? It's not like a full-time job where you can take holidays or you can take a loo day and you're going to get paid regardless. That's not how business works. Whether you're sad, you've got, yeah, of course, you can take days off. But if you're sad, if you're heartbroken, if you're hungover for a certain period of days, show up. Got to be consistent. If your clients see that you're not being consistent, how can you expect them to be consistent too? Okay? You've got to lead the way for them. My niche is fat loss and blood sugar management for South Asian busy. See, that's amazing. That's amazing. That's a really good niche. OK, so you have to talk about that over and over and over again, because you'll keep getting new people who are watching your platforms. Again, TikTok Live, educate people, educate people. OK, I'm not huge. I don't really go into the budget sugar management side and I haven't really seen anybody on TikTok Live talking about that. OK, so you've got a niche where you can go TikTok Live. And you can talk to people about it, even if you have one person watching or even even no people watching. Stand out, sit in the bath, run a bath, sit in the bath with your clothes on and start watching it. OK, because if people come across you and you're on your Facebook live and they're looking at your live and they're like, oh, my God, they're sat in the bath. What are they talking about? Right. And a lot of people are going to do that. And if it clicks with those people, because everybody wants weight loss, right, they're going to start listening. So they stop scrolling because they saw you were in the bath or you were, I don't know, wear some sort of clown outfit. Oh, whatever you want to do that makes you stand out. The more you stand out, the more people are going to be like, oh, what's going on there? And then they'll start listening to what you're talking about. OK, my niche is burn out nurse moms. It, there you go, then. There you go. I've got coaching clients who are nurse moms. OK, you coach them through it. Give them tips that they can do as much value as possible. How can you help them? compared to somebody else? What makes you stand out? What is it that you're talking about that's going to help them that they've probably never heard of before? So live is the best strategy to kickstart. And then I can also make posts like Insta and B-roll video, B videos, right? Yeah, sure. You will find something. Find something that you love doing. Find something that you love doing, okay? Instagram and Facebook, I don't get a huge amount of... Um, likes or stuff on my posts remember, remember likes are literally nothing to be honest but i have a huge amount of messages in instagram and facebook because of tiktok tiktok's my jam okay especially for tiktok i you were never late for anything never late for anything i literally launched my app 13th of march this year tiktok's been around for 
oh no, when's TikTok? TikTok's been around for years and years and years and years. You are never late for anything. You just have to stand out. You have to be so confident in what you're teaching that people have no choice but to listen. Okay? You're welcome. So a lot of the time on my TikTok lives, I'll debunk myths. I'll debunk myths. And I get you you've got it, you've got to, you've got to set yourself up for the hate as well. You're always gonna get hate with your own business, no matter what. You just something you have to definitely look at personal development. Okay. You're gonna get hate no matter what you do. Right? You've got to have a thick skin. You've got to understand that the hate on social media, people hate other people because they're not happy. It's got nothing to do with you. Right? The amount of trolls that I get on TikTok, right? I get people calling me fat. I get people calling me, they have no idea what I'm on about. They can talk about me all day long. I don't care because they're advertising me. They are advertising me. They can talk crap about me on TikTok. Do it, please. Talk about me in your stories. Talk about me on videos. Split screen with me and say how much of an awful person I am. Because people will end up looking at me on my profile and think, oh, hang on a minute, she's actually all right. I quite like this girl. So that hater has just given me more followers, <laughs> right? So don't shy away from it. You've just got to be so confident in what you're teaching that people have no choice but to listen and be consistent. I know it's a pain when everybody says consistency is key. It really is. If I didn't show up almost, I won't say every day because it's not every day, almost every single day, I would not be where I am with the business, okay? Fitbud makes it so easy, so easy. It can you can be on holiday in the I don't know Bahamas and get notifications, right? You can it can all be automated. You've just got to spend the time doing it. Okay. Uh, I think that's all the I think that's all the questions now, and nobody has any others. Love your energy and attitude. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Amy, for this informative webinar. And You're welcome. Thank you, coaches, for joining us today. Um, we'll be back soon with another one. And to stay updated on upcoming events, uh, you may follow us on our social media. And to get faster access to the webinar, replay, uh, subscribe to Fitbuds YouTube channel. And have a very great day. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.